Hey guys, Friday video. Um, so first I'm going to answer the question from a few weeks back because a couple things happened and I just kind of want to get it out of the way. Um, there's not going to be a question for next week and who knows, I might just kick the whole question thing out of videos. But um, enough of that. Uh, la the question from then was, how do you deal with being on the other side of the fence? Um, helping someone out with their transition as opposed to being helped. Um, so yesterday actually um, I was helping a girl out with her transition and I was applying makeup, uh, teaching her how to apply makeup and all of this and telling her to practice and everything and uh, next week we have her first RLE actually which is going to be fun. Um, so I was teaching her and I messed up and I was incredibly nervous, I messed up, I didn't want to tell her anything that would be bad or anything that would like be totally opposite of what she should be doing so I was incredibly nervous about it and that one time that I messed up I'm like oh god please don't let this happen so I like laughed it off and everything and I said this is my mistake this is how it happened and um, it was interesting because I felt like I was in a teacher role like helping someone with their math and it wasn't really exactly the same thing but that's the kind of vibe that I ended up getting so it was fun and I really enjoyed it um, but it was nerve-wracking but either way there's my answer for that question now Moving on to the subject for this video, um, last week's video was actually pretty interesting. I actually really enjoyed doing that video, the five things that hormones do not do. But I figured that I needed a sister video in order to make sure people understand what they do do. And I think I'm going to do it in a rank of what I can't wait for. Um, so I have written down here, okay. so. Number one, boobs. Um, in the last video I said that they're not like immediate or anything like that. You can't have C cups in a month. But the cool thing is that it does happen. So a, just a general rule of thumb, um, I read in several places actually that you should expect about a cup size less than your mother. If your mom is a C, you'll probably get a B. If she's a low C, you'll probably get a low B. But this isn't for everyone. This is not like an absolute rule. This is just a guideline for what to expect. Um, you don't want to expect like double D's or C's or anything like that, much less within a month. Um, double D's are incredibly rare, probably won't happen. Um, breast augmentation does also take a while. So there you go. There you have it. Next, it lessens body hair. Now, I'm not saying that it stops body hair. Don't even think that it stops body hair. It doesn't stop body hair. You still require electrolysis or laser or shaving and waxing or whatever. You still require hair care. The thing that it does do, however, is reduce testosterone's effect on hair. The reason girls aren't growing hair as fast as guys is because testosterone has an effect on your hair. Um, testosterone is the, actually the reason for male pattern baldness. So um, if you take an anti-androgen like Spiro or Finasteride or something like that, it lessens the growth of hair. Um, you won't have to shave. Like if you're seven months on hormones or something like that, chances are you won't have to shave your legs for like two weeks as opposed to two days where you used to have to do it like once every day and you had a five o'clock shadow on your legs so um, that there we go that's what it does it lessens the growth of body hair it happens much less often like a normal girl um, normal girls you don't see with like an entire like inch of hair on their arms you don't often see that and hormones takes care of that so there's that um, number three is emotions Emotions happen to be a huge thing in hormones. Um, testosterone allows you to take a very large control of your emotions. Men are a lot more secular in thought and testosterone does play that effect. Um, emotions don't play as much of a role in males. Um, and although females are typically more emotional, 
estrogen has that same kind of retardation. Um, it's not as big as testosterone, but estrogen does tend to control emotions as well. Um, the thing is, when you're doing hormone replacement, there's a time when they're both down here, which is a recipe for disaster. Um, so you'll be an emotional wreck. You'll be crying constantly at the smallest things. You won't even know why. It's not going to be rational, but you'll know what's going on. So um, you can take advantage of that and you can go off somewhere and cry if you need to and things like that. So hormones plays a huge deal with your emotions. Number four, fat deposits. Um, now, in the last video, I said that your skeleton cannot change. That still remains true. But your fat deposits and your fat dispersal is different between men and women. Um, hormones plays a big deal in that. Um, you'll end up putting, distributing fat everywhere instead of in like your stomach or wherever men build them. I don't really know because I've never had that problem. But when you deposit fat as a woman, it'll actually go to your hips, in your ass, in your boobs, and it can give you more of a figure. It can. But don't mistake that with your skeleton changing because it won't. You will still have a male skeleton. The fat deposits, however, will change. Now, along with that, I want to add like number four, part two, because. I absolutely cannot wait for this to happen. Um, on hormones, you'll notice, because of fat deposits, a noticeably softer skin. And with the noticeably softer skin, it also means that your face will sit differently. It'll sit more feminine-like. So guess what? You can pass a lot easier with makeup or, depending on the results, without makeup which I cannot wait for. Because don't get me wrong, I love makeup, but it does have problems with your skin and everything like that. So um, just keep that in mind. Um, I actually can't wait to be able to pass without makeup. That's gonna be like really fun. Um, it'll be a couple months, but still. Um, now, number five. Uh, this is actually PG-13, so if you're younger than 13 or something like that, then I would suggest stop watching the video now. And I'll just toss a little break in here. Okay, now, this is going to be sexually explicit, not too explicit, but I do need to talk about this. This is actually my number one love for hormones. Um, the penal reactions. Um, a lot of people say that it will reduce. It can. It can reduce due to atrophy, however, it's not due to the actual hormones. Now the testicles will stop producing semen, this is true, and your sex drive will go down on hormones, that's true, but your shaft and everything like that won't really change unless you stop doing anything with it. Um, because your sex drive is so low and you're not producing semen, it's not a physical requirement anymore to pleasure yourself, and because it's not, we don't usually do it which means the muscle will atrophy, the skin will atrophy, and it will minimize. Um, now, I'm not saying that if you continue to like pleasure yourself, it'll stay the correct size, but that seems to be the general opinion on boards and things like that. Um, so there's that. It will, however, minimize to a certain extent. There, You can't stop that. It will atrophy to a certain extent because you're not using the full usability of the organ. So keep that in mind. Um, but within a couple weeks, you'll discover that you won't get hard-ons, um, like morning wood or anything like that. And then within like a course of two to three months, you should end up seeing that your semen will become much less count. And um, it's going to it's going to be really harder for you, a lot harder for you to get off, um, depending. Um, if you want to solve any of those problems, just go see my video on um, uh, taking care of that in the pleasure zone. Uh, I don't remember what the video is called, but I'm pretty sure you can find it. It's got about two minutes of me disclaimering, like I usually do, because I'm worried and paranoid. But either way, that's my top five. Boobs, uh, less body hair. Um, emotions, body fat, and penal things. Um, that's pretty much it, and I will see you tomorrow.